is going to be the layout. But this is the layout. This is a lousy camera. But I ain't ready to get a, spend a lot of money on a video camera yet. Anyways, uh, layout is coming along. All the lights are on. But I try to do it at night. It turn the lights out. It doesn't work very well with this camera. Anyways, one of these days I'll figure out how to get some lights in that, uh, that train, uh, train building over there. But I got the roof screwed on, so that ain't happening yet. But I got some ideas to get some lights up in there. I don't want to pull the whole building up or take the roof off. Anyways, uh, take a little roll around the lab. Can't work this controller and do the uh, grade uh, whistle. Coming around, Coca Cola plant, fueling facility. I only got two grade crossings with working flashers. One here, one over there. I'm happy with that. Freight terminal. Bought a couple of intermodal, <coughs> intermodal cars. Wasn't really sure what I was thinking about, but you know how it is when you uh, buy equipment, you like what it looks like. Not maybe that it works into your plan or not. Uh-oh. That was the camera stand. <laughs> Anyways, propane facility. Put the camera stand over there. Coming around again, engine house, no mountains except for what's in the backdrop. That's just a uh, maintenance facility right there, it's some other things. And this is the modest intermodal facility next to the old freight terminal. Um, bought that little uh, Calmar lift for unloading uh, 20 foot containers, a little tight in there, but if you got well cars, do something with them. Granny's house, couple cars. Truck in that uh, van's got headlights. I think the van's got taillights too, but the truck, I don't know whether the truck goes or not, I can't remember. Anyways, that building over there is uh, leased out to CSX by uh, the family of Nick Berger. Uh, it's dedicated to him and his wife who have since left us years back, but. Uh, I called the building Metal Products Incorporated in honor of a job that I had about 50 years ago, 49, 48, anyways, Coca-Cola plant from my sister Maria, who's a Coca-Cola person, she works for Coke, and that's a fueling facility. 
both a rack to unload the tankers into a imagined underground tank and uh, that's the uh, fill up the tanker facility right there small we call this a creek not a river my first attempt at water was, was kind of plain but still I would I really liked it my wife helped me mix up the two batches to pour it with and that's a little picnic area some folks having a picnic it's a lighted area the kids like to play there and back to the intermodal. Let's do a little close-up of the uh, propane facility. Just finish with a lot of the lights that are going around here. Little hillside. A couple picnic tables, some trees and bushes. Trees over there. I really enjoyed working on this thing. I still got things that's not finished, but I'm still working on. Oh, and that car is awesome. That's a just plug by Woodland Scenics, and man, puts the bush cars to shame when it comes to the headlights and the taillights. Two of my favorite engines, one of my favorite railroads, <coughs> Maryland Midland. Those are MTH Locos. I love the sound of them. They're not quite as detailed as some other manufacturers, but hey, the sound is awesome. I think it's Proto 3 or something like that. Anyways, it's very nice. That's about it for now. Zoom in a little on the intermodal. There's a guy driving that lift in there, but he's got a thermos in one hand and a sandwich in the other, so yeah, he must be on break. 